Hi, uh, welcome to my channel. In this introductory video, uh, I will talk about what econometrics is and uh, how it studies the economic problems. So econometrics is taken to be a blend of, of three different branches. Uh, one is economics and another mathematics and the third one is statistics. Economics provides us theories and laws that are mostly qualitative in nature. They describe in words the laws and theories. While mathematical economics converts those economic theories and laws in terms of mathematical equations and econometrics or statistics then quantifies those theories with the help of data and uh, verifies whether those theories are true or not with the help of the statistics and the data. So in this sense, it is taken to be a blend, a mixture of three different branches, economics, mathematics, and statistics. So to understand how econometrics works, we here take, a, we here take an example of law of demand. The law of demand is provided by economics and it qualitatively explains that uh, there is inverse relationship between the price of a commodity and its quantity demanded. So this is the law of economics. Then comes the role of mathematical economics that converts that law in terms of mathematical equations. Q equals to A minus BP, which shows the inverse relationship between quantity demanded and price level. And then comes the role of econometrics. Econometrics uh, basically aims for estimating the value of A and B with the help of data. So, so it tries to estimate A and B with the help of data. And then the next role of econometrics is to test whether the estimated value are significant or not and we utilize different test hypothesis for that purpose. And the third role of econometrics is to predict the value of quantity demanded in this example uh, with the help of price. So econometrics utilizes economic laws and theories and it converts those laws in terms of equations and it, it tries to estimate or it tries to quantify the equation with the help of data. So basically econometrics has three purposes. So the first purpose is to estimate the coefficients of an economic model or of an equation. Uh, the second is uh, the inference which is also called hypothesis testing uh, we'll talk it about later in detail and the third one is forecasting or predicting the value of dependent variable so the basic econometric model looks like this this follows the example of law of demand discussed in the previous slide so the econometric model uh, considers that quantity demanded of a commodity is not only affected by its price but a lot of other variables which are included in this error term. So it is specified that Q depends on P and other terms that are clogged in error term. So here is a snapshot of how econometrics work. Uh, so we start with some economic theories. Uh, in the previous example, it was the law of demand. Then in step two, we, we try to convert the economic theory in terms of mathematical equation, mathematical model. And then we convert the mathematical equation in econometric equation where we consider the error term in step 4, we obtain data from primary or secondary sources. And then we estimate the model, or we, 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 we estimate the values of the parameters of the model. 
And after estimating the parameters, we test whether those values are statistically significant or not. And finally, the ultimate purpose of econometrics is to forecast or to predict the value of dependent variables. So we'll talk, we'll talk about these steps in a greater detail in the upcoming videos. Uh, for the time being, let us again take the example of law of demand to illustrate these steps. So in step one, uh, in, the, in the case of the law of demand, uh, the economic theory provides us the law that there is inverse relationship between price of a commodity and its quantity demanded. So we convert this law in mathematical equation y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x and then we convert this into econometric model. So the only difference between these two is that here, here the, the relationship is called deterministic, uh, deterministic in the sense that y depends on x only and only one x. But here the value of y cannot be predicted with certainty. So this is non-deterministic or we also call this a stochastic relationship. So stochastic means because we, we, we don't know exactly what factors affect the quantity demanded and by how much. So we, we argue that quantity demanded depends on the price of the commodity and many other factors that cannot be known with certainty. So this is the random error term. So in fourth step, we collect data. This is a hypothetical set of data. Uh, for illustration purpose, uh, we have very few data points here, but in reality, our sample size is quite large. And it, in fifth step, uh, we estimate the values of the parameter. Here, I have estimated the parameter values with the help of this data and uh, uh, in practice, we do not have to go step by step to estimate the value of the parameters. There are different softwares available that readily do for us. So here is the estimated equation y equals 300.90 minus 18.28x. So these are the estimates of the parameters. This is beta 0 and beta 1. So after estimating the parameters, we, we test whether those estimates are significant or not. So there are different hypothesis tests and we will go over them in detail. Uh, for the time being, uh, uh, the hypothesis test uh, tries to confirm whether the parameters in the model are significant or not. I mean, whether they are exactly zero or different from zero, or whether they are exactly five or different from five. So those type of statements can be tested with the help of hypothesis test. So we will go over this output in detail. Uh, so here in this table, we have, we have estimated two types of test statistics. One is F test and T test. And these uh, tests just uh, help to determine whether the estimated values are significant in the model or not. So in the seventh step, which is the ultimate purpose of econometrics, uh, we can forecast or we can predict in this case the quantity demand on the basis of the price. For example, we can ask what happens to quantity demand if price falls to 3. So in this case, we just plug 3 in the, in the estimated regression equation. So here we just put x equals 3 and the answer comes of 246. So we, we can conclude for now that if price falls to 3, the quantity demanded of the commodity will be 246. So this is the basics of econometrics that we should know. We'll talk a 
about the methodology of econometrics in later thank you for watching this video and please support me by subscribing my channel if you have any concerns comments or suggestions you can send those at my email which is srv863 at g.harvard.edu